everyone, Dandelion here. Welcome back to my story series. Remember how we learned about Abraham's incredible faith? God blessed him with a son named Isaac. And today's story tells us what happened next. Isaac grew up to be a kind and strong young man. One day, Abraham realized Isaac needed a wife. But where would he find one who believed in God like them? He talked with his servant Eliezer. Eliezer, you're my most trusted friend. I need your help. Anything for you, Abraham. What is it? It's time for Isaac to find a wife, but she can't be from here. She needs to believe in God like us. That's a big task, Abraham, but don't worry. I will do as you have commanded. Eliezer packed his bags, loaded them onto camels, and set off on a long journey. He traveled to a faraway land where Abraham's family lived. On the way, he prayed to God for guidance. Dear God, please help me find the perfect wife for Isaac, someone kind and faithful, just like him. When he reached the city of Nahor, he stopped by a well where women came to draw water. He prayed silently to God. O oh Lord, God of my master Abraham, Please grant me success today and show kindness to my master Abraham. Before he had finished praying, a young woman named Rebekah came to the well. She was kind and generous, offering water not only to Eliezer, but also to his camels. Eliezer was amazed and thought, could this be the one? He asked Rebekah about her family, and when he learned that she was indeed a relative of Abraham, he praised God and presented her with precious jewelry. Praise be to the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who has led me on the right path to find a wife for his son. Rebekah's family welcomed the servant and agreed to let her marry Isaac. Isaac and Rebekah fell in love, and they were married. God had answered Abraham's prayer and blessed Isaac with a wonderful wife. Just like Abraham trusted God, we can trust him too. He always has a plan for our lives, even when we don't understand it. Dear God, Thank you for guiding us on the right path and providing for our needs. Help us to trust in your plan and follow your will in all things. Amen. Remember, friends, we should trust in God's plan. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in for our next story adventure. Bye.